You know, I, I made your colors and everything. Oh, check this out. It's loose. Yeah. Hey guys, it's me, Tom Plex here. Back at you guys with another movie review. And I know the last time I did one of these, I did Black Adam. And I just came back from watching The Flash and oh my God. That was probably one of the most epic movies I've ever seen in my entire life. Literally, I'm not joking. This was a perfect superhero movie. It is a great tragedy. It's a great drama. It's a time travel story. I'm going to go in a spoiler-free review for you guys. And I'm going to recommend that you guys watch this movie and tell me what you guys think. And it, and everyone go see this movie because they because they already have written a sequel. And it, and it will only get made... If it reach, if it becomes a box office hit, so please, please do make it a box office hit. I, I beg of you. Let's get back into the video. First off, <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry. I just, I'm, I've been really stoked for this movie. I've actually been waiting for them to make a Flash movie since they, since they announced a movie version of Flash with Ezra Miller. I love Ezra Miller as an actor, as a person, and everything. This movie, I have to say, straight up, is beautiful story-wise the visual effects were a little bit iffy and there's a reason for that Andy Muschietti said um in a recent interview that the reason why the effects look so wonky in the Flash movie is because they're meant to look like that with like Barry moving through the speed force and like everything's distorted and shifting out of place and the colors are moving everywhere <laughs> And I get that, and it looked amazing. The, the effects of the Speed Force looked amazing. Every a lot of the visual effects looked amazing. I just I wish they could have tweaked it a little bit. They could have made it a little more realistic. But it was great overall. The effects were cool. It felt like I was there, but I just wish they could have been a little bit better. That's my opinion. Story wise, it was consistent all the way through. It was perfect, and for two and a half hours. It was very paced, so it knew what it was doing. It was keeping the audience engaged, and it was very beautiful. I love young Barry in this movie. He's a bit of a doofus and an idiot, and then you have this other Barry who's, like, very mature and knows what he's doing, but he's still confused about all of this. Oh, shit. This is mad trippy. Dude, this is catastrophic. And he's just discovering, like, what he has, and they do make a reference to the Snyder Cut when he goes back in time. Sorry, I just got back. I've eaten a lot of hamburgers and a lot of candy, and I'm currently sucking on soda, so. <laughs> it's a lot. This story it was a tragedy of just, like, whole characters. Like, it showed development all the way through. All these characters, you can barely see them for just a second, then they come back, and then you see the importance of each of them to each other, and the cameos. Oh, man! I'm not gonna spoil anything, but let me tell you, when there are ca like the cameras in this movie, I'm not going to trash on Doctor Strange Multiverse of Mass. I love that movie. I especially love the Illuminati. Um, but I feel like this had a lot more sense of the multiverse. Like it, it made sense. Bruce Wayne does describe the multiverse in this movie. It makes sense. Like it uses basic scientific explanation to try and like explain how this came to be. It used a lot of string theory, a lot of basic physics and stuff. And that was really fascinating for me. We got to see more of Iris West and we got to see the relationship between Barry and his mother and like how important they are to both Barrys. We see that in both versions of Barry. They both love their mom. This movie is pulled, is a lot of it is pulled straight out of the Flashpoint Paradox comics. And I'm not gonna say which parts of the movie, but go read the Flashpoint Paradox and the Flash movie tie-in book, The Fastest Man Alive. It's on Amazon, you can get it. And it's also probably at Barnes and Nobles or a local bookstore. You can probably find a comic book store. Cross promo. This movie just blew everything out of the water. And I know this is gonna be like the, the fluid reset of the new DC universe. And it's gonna lead right into James Gunn's DCU because James Gunn said it's gonna reset the whole thing that they're still gonna have like some actors and and some actors from the DCEU, which is like, the Snyder movies and such. And then there's also going to be new, and then there are going to be a lot of people who are in that. And a few people who are going to be mentioned and is most likely Ezra Miller and definitely Jason Momoa, who, because his Aquaman movie's coming out. Blue Beetle is a new one that's coming out soon, I think. 
then Superman Legacy is gonna establish all of that and be like, it's canon. And like, from this point on, everything from that, everything from Flash then on is now canon to the new DCU. So Flash is technically canon. Uh, everything from the Flash movie then on is canon. They're, de they're definitely gonna probably keep Ezra Miller as the Flash and I'm really excited for that because they do Barry Allen so well. It is amazing, I love it. And I would love to see more stuff like that. And they just announced today that Andy Muschietti is going to be the director for Batman the Brave and the Bold and the writer for the Flash movie is going to work on that movie, movie too. As you can't tell, I'm literally shaking right now. I, it doesn't really catch well on camera because I'm literally shooting this on my iPhone, but I'm shaking and I'm, because I'm excited. This movie was beautiful, visually wise, uh, story wise, literally near the end of the movie i just was bawling my eyes out like i would i it was so beautiful i cried michael keaton coming back as batman was amazing and we even got to hear if you already downloaded the score for um the flash movie they bring back the danny elfman batman theme which is a sample um like this something like that but it is so perfect. Seeing General Zod back, it was a little different from like the General Zod we saw, but it still had a lot of similarities of how we saw General Zod in Man of Steel, which was pretty epic. It was very consistent, I gotta say. It got a lot of comebacks from like previous stuff. The cameos, oh man, that the cameos are probably gonna make you stand up and scream. From my view in the audience, the audience were, was screaming when Mike McKeon said, I am Batman. You can see, I'm wearing my flash shirt. I got the six, six flags on the skull trip. And I also wore my, um, my Superman necklace, which I also got from Six Flags. Sasha Kaye was amazing as Supergirl. And it didn't just, like, make references to, like, some of the old stuff. Um, they were doing new stuff with the characters. Especially with the line, you want to get nuts? Let's get nuts. Just everyone went, yeah! It was so amazing. I, I, I still can't believe it to this day. It is so cool. All this time, we had, like, a, a different changes of writer, writers, different changes of directors, and, like, acting, and, like, storylines, and changes, and it all got down to this. It was well worth the wait. I gotta tell you. Go see it. It is amazing. The scoring, oh, man, that is, it is beautiful. And the main villain of this, I do have to say, is Dark Flash in this movie, and that's kind of evident because of McFarlane Toys leaking this photo. Okay, so the main villain of this is basically Dark Flash, and... If And in my spoiler review, I'm going to tell you why. But for now, I'm just going to say that the Flash movie, honest opinion, 10 out of 10. Ezra Miller did a great performance. I love them so much. They're a gift, I swear to God. Ezra Miller gave such an incredible performance. All the actors gave an incredible performance. And the story was excellent. The music was perfect. CGI, it could have been tweaked a little bit, but I'm still going to give it the score because it was fitting with some of the scenes. But this movie was perfect. And the cameos. Cameos, get an 11 out of 10. They really went out on that one, and I loved it. It made everyone go, wow! Everyone was so excited. They were screaming. So yeah, so Flash movie, 10 out of 10. I gotta say, and that has to be one of the best movies that I, the best, one of the best superhero movies that I've ever seen come out so far. This movie was perfect, I gotta say. This movie was genuinely good. It paced really well. Everything was so good. So yeah, Flash movie, 10 out of 10. I've said that three times already. Thank you everybody so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed my review. Please do go see the Flash movie if you want, if you want to see more. And it's going to tie into James Gunn's new DCU. So I recommend you see it for like everything that's going to happen in like, the new DCU to make sense. It's worth seeing again. I gotta say, it is beautiful. Visually, story-wise, everything about it is amazing. It made me cry, dude. And that's hard to do. Please make sure it does well. And it is a great movie. And just go see it. It's very fun. It's entertaining. It's got a lot of story. It's it's like a tragedy, but it's also a comedy. And I think it can really go, go into that with high hopes and then come out feeling satisfied. There was a lot that they did to satisfy the fans. And I gotta say, they really knocked out of the park on this one. And it was very beautiful. So please make sure to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Tap the notification bell so you never miss a video from me. But next week is going to be my review and uh, my unboxing and review of the Daredevil Omnibus Companion. Which is a book I've been trying to get for a long, long time. And I'll see you guys next week. Bye-bye! <laughs>